Looks like we're running out of room. A lot of people loved Edward. Why aren't you on that plane to Arizona, young lady? Well, guess. I can't. I'm avoiding stress. Well, first of all, you happen to be in my hospital. I'd like to think I can be of some help to you. And second of all, I do have a mild interest in the outcome of your trial. Therefore, I'm postponing my trip. And if they didn't love him, they respected him. The church is going to be crowded for the funeral tomorrow, too. As it should be. I'm really sorry to interrupt, but the caterer is driving me bonkers. Why? What's wrong? Well, she wants to know if you want the yams whole or sliced. Oh, I didn't arrange the dinner. You're going to have to ask Tracy about that one. I would if I could find her. He's gone, Alan. First mother, then you. And now, Daddy. How am I going to do this alone? Are you doing this big Thanksgiving dinner thing anyway? I mean, nobody feels like celebrating. My grandfather's not even buried yet. Well, I agree, but Tracy is insistent in the state that she is in. I'm not about to argue. As a quartermain on Thanksgiving? Or any other day, for that matter. Actually, it's a very well-intentioned gesture. She wants everything to be perfect in honor of Edward. That's because Mr. Q loved Thanksgiving, even though it always ended in disaster. I think he would appreciate us getting it right for once. Well, then can we start with solving the potato crisis? Ah, yes. Whole or sliced? What? Uh, sliced? Sliced it is. You want to deliver that message, or do you need help? Well, I wouldn't mind the assist. This lady is almost scarier than Cook was. This is <laughs> I read a report this morning about the Austrian merger. Oh, did you? Yeah, well, you know, ELQ stands to make a pretty penny there. Yes, we do. You know, the foreign markets are so volatile, it's, um, I don't know, it's kind of stimulating trying to predict how they'll react to our offers. You know, AJ, I am, I am pleased that you are so well informed, and I certainly want you to be conversant with all aspects of ELQ business. your great-grandmother Lila and your great-grandfather Edward, huh? Mm. So, you've been in hiding this whole time? Where? Oh, come on, I can't reveal all my secrets. You know, Mom called and told me about Jason. That's when I came oh, home. I know. It's terrible. I just found out about it when I heard about Edward. Right, well, finding out that I was alive would probably be one update too many, so... Well, I am so happy that you saved the best news for last. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got to tell me. What have, what have you been up to? Fill me in. Oh, Sky, you know what? That's uh, a big story for another time. Yeah, you're right. I, I know. This this day is about Edward. I still can't believe it. Yeah, me either. This house feels so empty already. Did you get a chance to say goodbye to him? By the time Tracy let me upstairs, he, I, I, don't ask. I, he was already gone. If I'd known when I left a year ago that that was going to be the last time I saw him. The jet is ready for you, and the pilot has been given instructions to take you anywhere you say with no questions asked. Thank you. Promise me one thing. You won't be a stranger. Please bring Lila Ray. No problem. I kept one of my promises. I brought Lila Ray here. You're so proud. I mean, you're beaming. She is already a way better person than I ever was. And I'm trying to be a good mother. I really am. Yeah. 
That's why I'm sticking around. For Michael. God, I want the chance to be a father to him. And I'm gonna get it. This is kind of weird. Yeah? What? What you just said about uh, not counting out my cousin, Connie, Kate. So maybe he's just being optimistic. Yeah, but the way he said it, it sounded kind of like, like he knew something or something. I don't know. Oh, here comes dinner. Oh, I hope it looks as good as it smells. Oh, my God! What's wrong? You okay? I saw I had the Weber. I'm so glad you're home. I booked a flight as soon as I got your call. He's gone. I know, it doesn't seem possible. I mean, I knew he was getting older and everything, but I just, I guess I just convinced myself that he would always be here. He was my rock. Nothing ever seemed, I don't know, real unless he gave it his seal of approval. The deed is done. Good job, both of you. Well, if I didn't know better, I think you might have meant that. You don't know me as well as you think you do, dear. I know that this hasn't been easy for you, and I've been a large part of that. But for some reason, this, uh, <laughs> this scoundrel makes you happy, and that makes me happy. Thank you, Dad. He was the glue that held the family together. What's going to become of us? We're Quartermains. We'll survive. We always do. Without Daddy? We've got you. You. The toughest cue of them all. Oh, I don't feel tough. Come on. Let's go up to the house. Face the rest of them. You go. I, uh, I want a little more time. I'm okay. You go. I love you too. <laughs> oh, Scott! Monica, hello. Why didn't you tell me she was coming? Well, actually, I didn't know who was going to be able to make it. People all over the world, and with weather and the holidays, and and who was that? <laughs> Lila Ray, I would like you to meet. Your grandmother, Monica. Hi. Hi. Now, do you remember what we talked about? Yeah. Go ahead. Oh. Oh, you are just beautiful. <laughs> just beautiful. And you have really just made my day. Ah. Uh, I know that we haven't always seen eye to eyes. That's an understatement. But I'm glad you're here. And I know that Edward and Alan would be too. Thank you, Monica. This is my family and it's Lila Ray's too. In fact, I would love to show her around the grounds if I may. Absolutely. It's really something I wanted to see. Come on. Be my guest. Oh, and we may have lost Edward, I know. But we gained you. And that makes the pain a little more manageable. Speak for yourself. Welcome home. We'll catch up later. Sky, she's beautiful. Oh, thank you. 
Just trying to ease her into the family gently. Get out while you still can. Ned. Come on, Lathery, let's go. Play nice, you two. Oh, I'm glad you're here. I couldn't miss grandfather's favorite holiday. <laughs> Why not? You missed everything else. Oh, you're one to talk, Junior. Did you bring Brooklyn? No, no, she's on tour right now. Lois always travels with her. Oh, of course. Now, Dylan would have been here, but he's shooting a film in the Far East. So, just leaves me. Lucky us. Grandfather must be rolling over in the grave. And he's not even buried yet. Oh, uh, this is not the time or the place, fellas. Have you seen your mother? Yes. She needed some time alone. Of the family she grew up with, she's the only one left. They're all gone. There's no one left but me to remember the uh, Christmases in Oyster Bay. Trip to England where I pushed Alan in the lake and Mother pushed me in after. Daddy teaching me how to drive. And backing the car into the breakfast room wall. Nobody but me to remember what made us laugh, what made us cry, what we fought about. My family. The four of us. <laughs> now it's just me. <laughs> oh. There's a little privacy too much to ask right now? I'm sorry. We didn't know anybody would be in here. Very sorry about Edward. I miss him very much. Yes, I bet you will. I saw Ned up at the house. Really? I guess there's a lot of unexpected arrivals today. I wanted Lila to know about the people who have been important to me. Like the woman you were named after. Come here, sweetie. I want to show you something. Do you see what this says right here? It says Lila Quartermain. Beautiful woman. Inside and out. Just like you. Do you really think that's appropriate? You weren't related to any of them. Alan and Edward loved their family, and I was very blessed to be a part of it. Blood does not make a family. Love does. He's surprised you're not having turkey. ALT is my favorite. Uh, it's a classic. Just like this guy. You know, Edward Quartermain was quite a man. He certainly was. Oh, did you know him? Well, in fact. Everything fine? Yep. Hospital administrator at Frontcliffe checked on my mother and she's fast asleep in her bed. It's a little bit early for her to be going to sleep, don't you think? She's probably taking a nap. You don't have anything to worry about, Liv. Famous last words. I'm just saying. You're safe. My mother can't hurt you anymore. She can't hurt anyone. Mom's right. Uh, this isn't the time or the place. So what do you say, Ned? Buddy? Cousin? Chris? Hmm? Seriously? You think you can show up after all these years and just erase everything you've done? Monica, I just want to apologize for just not making more of an effort to see Grandfather. Look, we have all chosen different paths, but the bottom line is we are family. Mm -hmm. And some of us regard the family more than others. Grandfather, modesty is not one of the virtues you stressed when you trade me for the corporate world. You told me to believe in myself, to grab the opportunities, to take risks. And your advice has never failed me, has it? Of course not. Then why should it fail me applied to this? We can make this work. I have absolute faith and trust in that. 
If there was ever a time for us to come together, it is right now. I know it would mean a lot to Edward if his grandsons got along. You expect my son to get along with the man that single-handedly killed my father? I told you we're gonna kill Daddy, and you did. Congratulations, a new low. Tracy, what in God's name are you talking about? I had nothing to do with grandfather's death. You were the last one in his room. I was the last one in the room, Tracy. And by the time you allowed AJ to go in, it was too late. There you go again, defending the son who belongs in jail. Don't be ridiculous. Tracy, I understand that you need somebody to blame. Don't patronize my mother. Thank you, Ned. Oh, there's Ned, always considerate of his mother's needs. Did you hear about the pathogen scare? Oh, you are not going to throw that in his face, Ned. Well, I just thought with the town being moments away from death, it might have raided a, I don't know, a phone call? Miss Skye? Oh. And Lila Ray. Alice. Oh, oh I trust you're going to stay for Thanksgiving dinner? Absolutely not. Don't they pay the nurses at GH? Yeah, why? Yeah, one of them skipped out on a bill. Uh-oh. Hey, can I see your paper for a second? Yeah. Edward Quartermain. Yeah, and the stuff of legends right there. It's so crazy to think that he's just gone. It's no crazy to think thinking he was married to your mother. For a second and a half. Never, just about. You never told me. How did that even happen? That was about the time that he lost his wife, Lila. And my mother took advantage of Edward's grief. Shocker. Fortunately, he figured out it was all about the money, so he had the thing annulled right away. Who put you in charge? It's common sense, Monica. She's not a quarter main. Well, Dad and Grandfather disagreed. And they're not here, are they? Lila Ray and I'll be at the Metro. Uh, uh, no, no, no. You are guests and you are family. You'll be staying here. Good. I second that. She is Proud not welcome here, Monica. Yeah. This is my She's house. Oh, oh my goodness, would you just by, tattoo that on your head? Why don't you come back? Why don't you come back? Mommy, is everything okay? Oh, yes, my darling. Uh, welcome to the family. You know what? This is going to be best. Oh, really? For Just what? For today. Because we only have to endure one of your criminal sons. I today. think you could use an aspirin. And mommy could use an aspirin. Oh, no, I'm sure. oh, no, I think she's just bitter because her other son decided he didn't guess. want to. Dylan has a career. Yeah, I love oh, Jenny. Really? Hey. hey. Oh, happy Thanksgiving, Alice? Well, not so happy. You'd think they'd quit fighting just for one minute, just for Mr. Q. Uh, I just graduated high school. I don't really have anything to contribute. Of course you do. You're a bright young man, and, and uh, you're a fast learner. You have instincts, and you're not afraid. Those things will carry you far in this life. Okay, look, I'm going to tell you the same thing I told my father. I don't want any special treatment. <laughs> well, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I can't guarantee that because you're family, and that's a built-in special treatment. But... It also brings burdens of responsibility and expectations. But you're coming aboard. <laughs> it just means everything to me. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Aren't we here for great grandfather? Yes. yes. Yes, and why don't we start acting like it? Oh, Edward. 
You thought of everything. Oh, excuse me. Do you work here? Can you tell me where I can get an S? Heather? Well, well. Look what the cat drank. So, but you knew AJ Quarterman was still alive? At first, the guy flatlined Liv. I called time of death, it was over. So what? What happened? I went back into the room and there he was wide awake. Monica was there when he miraculously came to. And she asked you to keep it a secret? She begged me. Said he'd go to prison if anyone knew he'd survived. I backed up her story. You faked an autopsy? You're the first person I've told. I'm really glad you did. Really? Because you look like you're about to throw up. I, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just, I'm really, I'm trying to, to take this all in here. Um, do you have anything else that you'd like to share with me? Be because thing. this would be a really good time to do it. Thing. Well, I guess I got that to be thankful for. <sighs> you're upset. No, I, I just, I pray that this doesn't come back to haunt us. From your lips. What is this? Edward was my ex-husband. It may have been brief, but I it mattered mean to me. That. I mean, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be in Ferncliff. How did you get out? I'm resourceful. You should remember that, Blaze. Wasn't that Luke's little pet name for you? That was a long time ago. So you're Blaze, and Anna's slim. And I was always just plain Heather. Why didn't I merit a nickname from Luke? I don't know. I guess you'll have to ask him. In fact, why don't you go call him right now, and I'm going to go join you. What? So you can call the men in the white coats? I don't think so. Nobody's going anywhere. Are you forgetting how much family meant to Edward? How he wanted to bring us all together, especially today. Look, I think we owe it to his memory to make him proud of us. That sounds right. Thank you for reminding us what this day is supposed to be. We can do this. No, we will do this. We will make this the Thanksgiving grandfather always wanted. I'm getting out of here now. And guess what? You get to come with me. No, 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 she's not. Let her go. None of you make a move in this direction. Not if you want to see Sky alive. Well. What? Let Sky go and just walk away. I swear we will not follow you. Right. Like I'm going to trust a quarter main. Goodbye, all. Gobble, gobble. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Guess it's a traditional Q Thanksgiving after all. Oh, follow the sound of the music. She's in there with her butts from Ferncliff. No, no, come here. She came to. Yes, we heard that. Fought like the devil. It's an apt description. Stephen Lars, I thought you'd want to spend Thanksgiving with your mother. Get that lunatic out of here. No, oh, I'm fine. Really, I am. Everything's going to be okay. Just yeah, let me go. I want fine. to celebrate with family. Bye-bye. Um... So that just happened. Uh, wow. I li Listen, I'm sorry about when we were fighting when you first came in, and now this craziness, I mean, we really know how to kick off the festivities, don't we? Uh, well, you guys definitely know how to keep things interesting, that's for sure. Yeah, that's, that's one way to put it. Look, I really like what you said about family and everything. I'm just, I'm happy you're here, son. Uh, look, AJ, um, I'm glad you're back and everything, but I, I, I still barely know you. It's not like we can bond overnight. No, I, no, I, know, I know that. I, has somebody been talking to you about me? Or? No. Like who? Well, that was interesting. Ranks pretty high in terms of Thanksgiving disasters. Yeah, I think it beats the year the dog ate the dinner. Hey, do you guys remember the year that I snuck into the kitchen because I wanted a snack? And Cook got so upset that she destroyed the entire meal? Here. <laughs> Did that really oh, happened? That one. Yeah, it happened. Yeah. 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 Well, must have been some pretty crappy holidays. Actually, they were wonderful. Because Daddy was presiding. Yes. 
Edward always loved Thanksgiving. He felt it brought the family together. I know we all have our favorite memories. Even me? Even you. How wonderfully excessive. Then I don't intend to restrict myself to chocolates. Hmm? When I saw you at that garden party, in your dress as blue as the summer sky, I loved you then, but never as much as I love you now. I love you too. It was different in my day. We knew our roles. I was the man and she was the woman, and that was that. You have a terrible history with women. Tracy, when will you learn that you deserve so much more than what that man has to offer? Thank you, Danny. What starts small can become much, much bigger. Hey, hey, Eddie, May. Who said I wanted your rock and roll alter ego signature? I dare. Sleep tight. Night, son. Good night, father. Another one like him. I'm hungry. Are you? Oh. No. No, no, no! Uh, those guys were kidding when they said Heather put up a fight. Dinner's completely ruined, Alice! Alice! Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, Miss Tracy, uh, don't shoot the messenger. I'm not going to make promises I can't keep. Spit it out! Okay, I called the pizza parlor. Good. But it's closed for renovations. Oh. Closed? They're the only ones that stay open on Thanksgiving. Oh. We can salvage this. Some of the plates are still partially intact. What's this? Yams. Yams. We are not eating off the floor. This meal was supposed to be perfect for Daddy, and now it's the worst Thanksgiving ever. Just hold your horses. I'll get there. I know something the quartermains don't know. 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 I don't know why I'm surprised. This day always ends in disaster. Maybe that's how we honor grandfather, by keeping the tradition alive. Well, I'm starving. Me too. All right, should we call a neighboring town? I mean, there's got to be someplace oh. open. They won't deliver here. AJ will pick it up. Oh, where did those come from? I have no idea. Let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. Wait. What did Daddy always say? First we sing, and then we eat. First, First, we, First we sing, sing and, and then, then we eat. eat. We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. He hastens and chastens his will to make known. The wicked oppressing now cease from distressing. Sing praises to his name. He forgets not. What would you say if I ask you to... Uh, 
renew our commitments to each other? Of course I will, dear. <laughs> I'm so sorry you couldn't attend. It's his own fault that he couldn't honor grandfather. Okay, Ned, we get it. AJ's under house arrest. The judge was so sure he'd jump bail that he wouldn't even let him go to a church. Because your mother manipulated him. Oh, amazing. Even when he's wearing an ankle monitor, it's still never Junior's fault. What would you have done if you heard of Brooklyn was hurt? Would an ankle monitor have stopped you, Ned? I would have sent somebody, and then I would have asked the police to take me to the hospital. You know, why bother Sky? I mean, Ned's a paragon. He never makes any mistakes. AJ was just trying to be a father to his son. I'm sorry, do you guys remember what we're doing here? We're about to bury great-grandfather. Think if Tracy can stop fighting, then so can the rest of us. I think we should give Tracy some time alone. Yeah, yeah, you're right. She's grieving. Well, what she is is quiet, and God knows how long that will last, so let's enjoy the peace. Are you okay? Miss Quartermain, it's time. I can't believe I have to say goodbye to my father. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord make his face to shine upon him and be gracious unto him and give him peace. Amen. I wasn't able to speak at my grandfather's funeral. I'd like to say a few words now. I don't think it's any big surprise that I was um, a disappointment to grandfather. As his death changes all of us, my own death has changed me. And I promised myself that if I ever came back to my family, that I would become the man that I always should have been. I'm gonna make you proud this time, Grandfather. I just wish you were here to see it. here to read Mr. Q's will. Thank you, Alice. I would just like to extend my condolences to the entire family. You drew up Daddy's will? Mr. Quartermain had a great deal of respect for my legal expertise. Why not one of the lawyers from ELQ? There were concerns about objectivity. Objectivity? You're AJ's lawyer. That is a blatant conflict of interest. I drew up this will well before I was retired. I want a different agent. lawyer. Too bad. Edward wanted Ms. Miller. She's going to read the will. Thank you so much, Monica. Mm -hmm. Now that that's settled. Okay, everyone, well, let's gather have around. Have a seat. Come on. Well, if you're going to read the damn thing, read it. I, Edward Lewis Quartermain. Oh, please, David. skip the formalities. Just get to the part where Daddy's last wishes for me and his many progenies. <sighs> To my living grandchildren. Grandchildren? What about his children? I'm just reading what it says here, Tracy. Oh, you know what, you're right, Daddy. Always complained about my lack of patience, and even in death, he's keeping me waiting. My living grandchildren. And according to my list, these are Sky Chandler Quartermain. How does Sky count? She wasn't Alan's biological child. Alan legally adopted Sky, so she counts. Sky Chandler Quartermain, Jason Morgan. Jason Morgan is dead. Jason is missing. His body has not been recovered. Oh, and so you're going to pretend that he still walks among us so that his widow can inherit what's rightfully mine. For heaven's sakes, Tracy, Diane is not maneuvering anything so Sam can have Jason's inheritance. 
You are so naive. Moving on. Sky, Jason, Ned Ashton. What? Ned Ashton? It isn't even the same last name. Go on. Dylan Quartermain Hornsby. Any objections, speak now or forever hold your peace. Right. To my living grandchildren, I bequeath... What uh, about AJ? AJ was not alive when Edward drafted this will. Well, he's obviously alive now. Edward did say living grandchildren. You're absolutely right, Monica. AJ is alive. Again. So obviously the law applies to him. To my living grandchildren, I bequeath to each one of you 12% of my shares of ELQ. But that's 60%. Once again, arithmetic wins the day. Now, if I may be allowed to continue. So to... I'm left with 40%. They are the major shareholders. How did Daddy do this to me? Tracy, I haven't even finished reading the will yet. I'm not even close. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I'm sure Daddy has my best interest in mind. Ladies and gentlemen, family and guests, the caterer would like me to let you know that lunch is now served in the dining room. Thank you, Alice. Diane, could you move it along, please? We're all feeling a bit peckish. To my living great-grandchildren. Great-grandchildren? Seriously? My award. She counts? Shut up, Tracy. Lila Ray Alcazar. Lila Shut Ray? Shut up, Tracy. Michael Corinthos III. Michael? There is no way that he counts. Sonny is legally his father. Sonny raised him. AJ was never, ever a father to Michael. I can assure you that even though Michael was raised by Sonny, he still counts. Right. Brooklyn Ashton, Daniel Edward Morgan. How much did Jason pay you? You were doing backflips to make sure Sam and that baby inherit. To my living great-grandchildren, I bequeath each of you 6% of my shares of ELQ. That's 30%. I'm left with 10%. How could Daddy do this to me? As for my remaining ELQ shares, I bequeath 5% to my loyal daughter-in-law, Monica. What? I had to share my 10% with her? I share my house with you. And finally, I bequeath 5% to the woman who's been most faithful to me. Oh, Daddy. A woman <clears throat> whose loving attention to me made my days since Lila's death bearable. A woman I've cherished all these years for her constancy, her steadfast support, her honesty, and her plain, old-fashioned good sense. Alice Gunderson. What? <gasps> me? <laughs> I would just rather have five more years with Mr. Q than that 5%. Oh, no. Daddy left me nothing? Nothing? He must have left you something. Diane, uh, what about his cash? His uh, material possessions? You're absolutely right. I forgot. I, that was just the shares. He was uh, loaded. I'm sure he left me everything else. All of my cash holdings, my bonds, my portfolio, and all of my material possessions, I leave to be divided equally. 50% to Habitat for Humanity. 50% to charity? It's a worthy charity. Even you know that, Tracy. And the other 50% to PBS. Public Broadcasting System? I guess Mr. Quartermain preferred Big Bird to Oscar the Grouch. That's it? You've read the entire will. I have. Well, then, I suggest we go and enjoy lunch in Edward's honor, shall we? Coming, Tracy? Mother, are you okay? Yes, dear, I'm fine. Why don't you go in and have some lunch? I'm sure you're starving. You sure? Yes, would you save me some red meat? The bloodier, the better. I don't believe this for a minute. I can assure you that will is airtight. There has to be a mistake in this piece of trash document that you drew up. Not one mention of me. Not one. How can that be? Actually, 
There was one more thing. Th What's this? Oh, I have no idea. Your father left explicit instructions that it be given to you. Well, then it must be something wonderful. Thanks for nothing, Daddy. <laughs> what the hell is this? Why, my inheritance, of course. I'm sorry, Grandfather. For what? I'll do hey, good to see you. <laughs> Since I didn't get a chance to talk to you at Edward's funeral, do I get to know what brings you back to Port Charles? I'll tell you everything. But first, I need you to do something for me. Which is what? Well, to begin with, you can't tell Anna. Hello? Any chance you can tear yourself away for an hour and have dinner with me? Oh, I can't. I got so much work to do, I can't. Well, I thought you would say that. You have to eat. Oh, and besides, you know, in your line of work, you can't have barbecue sauce all over your fingers. So you're just going to have to slow down, take time, tell me about all those men in your life. Wow. Okay. That was, like, super subtle. Mm-hmm. You're just blatantly nosy. <laughs> well, I'm on an agenda, yes, but I don't hide it. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Robert's back, Duke's back, Luke is nowhere to be found. I suppose that's not a coincidence. No, it isn't. You've been married to two of them, mm -hmm. and three of them you've been involved with. Have you figured out yet which one you want? This sounds so vague. Do I feel the same way to you? Of course you do. And my love for you is just the same. It hasn't changed. Has your love for me? Something's changed. I don't know what it is. You feel different. Hey, Lavery. Something wrong? So I can't tell Anne, I'm guessing this involves Duke. You hop right. What does that mean? It involves the man who's stolen Duke Lavery's identity. And who's that? Faison. Luke has gone to Turkey to investigate Duke. And he somehow got Robert involved to, um, well, what? to basically badger me, which he is doing so well. So he shows up at my suite at the metro, which is no longer my suite now. But anyway, I'll tell you about that later. So he waltzes in as if he owns the place. And without so much as a howdy-do, he just starts going right into interrogating me about Duke, because apparently Luke hasn't managed to find any incriminating evidence in Turkey. Well, that's good news, though, isn't it? Yeah, you would think so. Huh? But see, now Robert's twisted that all around and said that this whole thing is a sort of cover story and Duke is somehow now guilty of what? I'm not entirely sure. Well, Anna, think about it. You were married to Robert before and after Duke. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be jealous. Who side are you on? Just because you had a little bit of a fight doesn't mean that he doesn't care. care about me. I know. He's always telling me that, but he just has a very grating way of showing it. And Duke, he's easier to get along with, and I know how much he means to you. Look, you won't tell Robert this, but, um, I kind of, I'm a little bit confused about Duke. You know, I went around to his apartment. And um, things got a little bit intense. You slept with him? No, no. But it was definitely headed in that direction. Well, it's been a long time since you've been with Duke, but it's not like you haven't been there with him before. No, no, I know, of course not. Yeah, I mean, obviously, but it just didn't feel right. You know, there was something about Duke that's, there's just something different. John Zuccara, Hulu's business partner. Oh, of course, I, uh, I, I just haven't had the chance to meet you. Yeah, I've been busy. It's a first-rate establishment. Well, how did so? Everything all right? Are you angry at something or someone? 
<laughs> myself. Huh. I've been trying to quit smoking. It's such a filthy habit, but I, I'm failing miserably. Please mm -hmm. don't tell anyone about this, especially not Anna. None of my business. But... See, the club, that's my baby. And are you going to work for me? We're going to have a little chat. Wait, you're Galila. Yeah, seems I was mistaken. Daddy did not cut me out of the will entirely. No stock, no money, no personal possessions. A jar of mother's relish. Okay, I've heard the stories, of course. Everyone seemed to be crazy about the stuff. Yes, when the family had a reversal of fortune, thanks to Monica, of course, mother decided to market her relish. It was such a fabulous success that she put us back in the black and she rebuilt ELQ. I never cared for it, which daddy knew. So I guess giving me a jar was his last joke on me. Now, grandfather was a shrewd old bird. There must be something more to it. Yeah, he wants me to open a hot dog stand. I was apologizing. You see, the plan was to convince grandfather that I'm not a complete screw up and do something to prove that, uh, well, prove that I can make him proud. Obviously, I didn't have the time. You know, and this whole thing with the stock, I mean, I don't deserve this. Oh, come on. The will clearly states every living grandchild gets 12%. Grandfather didn't think I was alive. I mean, he never intended on including me. So you never got a chance to prove yourself to grandfather. Come on, there's still time to prove yourself to Michael, to yourself. I'd like to. But I'm gonna have to beat the charges that I'm facing first. Well, Diane Miller's representing you, right? Yep. The woman is a shark. I sure hope you're right. Because between you and me, Sky, I don't want to go to prison. What do you want? I want to take the inheritance the grandfather gave me, and I want to do something good for the family. Something my son can be proud of. So what's stopping you? <gasps> Tracy may not have got many shares, but she's still the CEO of ELQ. As long as she's in power, I'm not going to get any traction. And she's not going to give up control until she's in here. What if she were forced to? If someone were in a position to leverage Tracy out of ELQ, I'd, I'd be interested in hearing about that. Well, a while back, I came into some information about Tracy. Do tell. During her short marriage to Gino Salito, she managed to get her hands on a substantial amount of his cash, which she then invested in ELQ. Wait, wait, are you, are you telling me that Tracy laundered mob money through ELQ? That, that's a felony. I mean, that's a major SEC violation. Isn't it, though? <laughs> I mean, I mean, if Grandfather knew that, he'd be rolling over in his grave. Oh, Grandfather knew about it because I told him. He needed to have his company protected in case there was an SEC investigation. Well, wait a second. What, he didn't do anything about it? He let her get away with it? Oh, I think Grandfather thought Tracy got exactly what she deserved. When she was forced to marry a mobster named Anthony Zagara. Mother, I know that you're very disappointed. I mean, you and grandfather had your share of fights, but deep down, you loved each other. So it's only natural for you to think that he would leave you something to acknowledge that bond. I did love him. And I'm sure that there is some mystical message in this gift, but for the life of me, I have no idea what it is. I'm sorry. You wanna know the most frustrating part? I miss him so damn much, I can't be mad at him. On the bright side, he may not have bequeathed you any shares, but at least you still are CEO. Maybe not for long. I don't believe that Lavery is alive. What I believe is that he's being impersonated by Faison in order to get to Anna. I don't suppose you have anything like proof, Robert. Psychic visions? Oh, you're psychic now. No, no, not me. But I ran into this rather charming young lady uh, named Olivia Falconeri. Robert, I know you. You know, I, I never put faith in Hocus Pocus. Humor me here. Olivia turns up to the Haunted Star. She runs into Lavery. She turns around, looks at him, but for a moment sees another man. Visa? Yeah, but Olivia didn't know that. She'd never met the guy. So she sits down with Elizabeth and describes him, and Elizabeth is able to draw this person. You mean like a police sketch? Yeah, she's quite talented. I recognize this guy right away. Now, if I'm right, 
and Faison is impersonating Duke, then Anna's in a lot of trouble. It's almost as if Duke has been frozen in time. You know, he's still as charming as ever, and we dance the tango, he didn't miss a step, he has perfect recall of just about every single thing we ever went through, perfect memory. But then, in other ways, he's... Such as what? <sighs> when Duke kisses me, it just doesn't feel the way I thought it would. Okay, I assume that you're uh, satisfied with my work. Oh, your work's fine. I'm more concerned with, what is a guy like you, with your experience, you know, running your own nightclub, what are you doing mixing drinks and hustling for tips? I trust you know my story. Mm -hmm. I've been incarcerated, to put it politely, for a couple of decades. By the time I got back, everything had changed. I've taken a job until I can get on my feet. That's, that's all there is to it. What else would there be? Maybe you working at my bar has something to do with the person you once were. Copy of that police report where Faison was killed. Robert, I can't help you. I don't have access. You know, I'm not on the force. Come on, you were police commissioner for longer than I was. I mean, half the force there probably owed their life to you. I mean, look, if I go in there and start to pat around, it'll be pure speculation. Anna's gonna find out about it. Uh, it sounds like Anna doesn't buy your theory. I never really got to give her the whole theory. After I told her that I thought the library was bogus, she nearly had a heart attack. Come on, Robert, you and Anna always fight. That's not quite true. We always have each other's backs, and that's what this is all about. And look, if if Anna is playing into Faison's hands here, after... What, what, what this is all about, Robert? With everything Faison took from you, you want one last crack at him. Convince me he's dead. Get me that report. What was that? Grateful for your support, but as far as ELQ is concerned, I do not have enough votes to hold on as CEO. I could get thrown out by the first board meeting. Now, you know what? I wouldn't worry about it. Because the way Grandfather doled out all the shares, I think it would be very hard for anyone to get a majority. Unless they form an alliance and they block vote. Ah. And I wonder who would do that. I'm sure AJ is plotting a takeover even as we speak. So you're telling me that this uh, Anthony Zaccara blackmailed Tracy into marrying him? Well, there's absolutely no other reason Tracy would ever marry Anthony Zaccara. I know he had the information because I gave it to him. Sky, that's... I know it wasn't exactly my finest hour. I was going to say inspired. I mean, if there's anyone on this planet who deserves to be blackmailed into marrying some lowlife, it's Tracy. Yeah, well, don't gloat too much. The marriage only lasted a few months. Zaccara was murdered. Was Tracy arrested? Of course she was, but they didn't have enough proof or evidence, so they let her go. Well, do you know if the case is still open? It sure is. Let me ask you something. Do you think it's in really bad taste that we're plotting to take over the company this soon after Grandfather was born? Are you kidding me? I think you'd be doing the family a favor if you toppled Tracy. You know, Skye, if I could get her out of VLQ, I know I could do something good for that company. Unfortunately, I no longer have the information I used against Tracy. Zakara took it from me. And I've absolutely no idea what he did with it before he was murdered. See, I'm making my business to know who works for me. So, yes, I know that the club you ran used to launder money. Well, that's a matter of public record. But it's also a matter of public record. I was completely legitimate by the time I left Port Charles. Is anybody ever completely legit? You tell me. I know you're the heir apparent to the Zakaro crime family and also to the Sarugans. How do you know so much about my background? More importantly, why do you care? Commissioner Devane? Yeah. Okay, I'll be right there. Uh, gotta go see the desk, Sergeant. Right, well, we're not finished with this conversation. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. My fault. Wow, what are you doing here? That's too funny. We were just talking about you. What are you doing to say Zafezan smile? It's difficult to leave that life, especially when your own family is involved. And it's hard to resist the temptation to be drawn back in. Not when you've seen the downside. No. There's certainly the price to pay for everything. I'm out of that life. On to a completely different one. And I run a clean business. I intend to keep it that way. Well, then we agree. You working tonight? 
I'll be in later. I look forward to getting to know you better, Johnny. You and I have a lot in common. We'll see. I thought you vowed never to work here again. <laughs> I don't think I took it that far. Well, you're a civilian, walking the halls of the police station with Faison's file. What's up? Uh, well, you know, when Jerry Jacks put the pathogen in the water, mm -hmm. I just wanted to do something to help, so I had a lot of clerics pull every file with a similar MO, and, um, well, Faison was at the top of the list. Oh, yeah. He certainly had an extensive bag of tricks, that's for sure. Yeah, well, it was, it's been in my apartment all this time. I was finally returning it. Okay. I'll make sure the filing clerk buries that, because I'd just as soon never see that file again. Library. Scorpio. <laughs> Anna told me you'd return. she tell you why? Well, I assume Spencer called in the cavalry. He couldn't turn Anna against me, so he thought you'd come here and that you could, but clearly he was mistaken. Too soon to tell. No. All you succeeded in doing is making Anna angry, pushing her closer to me. I should thank you. I don't worry too much about angry Anna. We've been beating up on each other for decades. But you see, in the end, she always trusts me. That should make you feel a little threatened. Anna chose me, Robert. Not you. So it would seem. I guess there can be no other love other than that which Anna hath for Duke Lavery. I forget that AJ is a kidnapper, an attempted murderer. He's facing some serious prison time. Yeah, in a perfect world. But Diane Miller is mounting his defense. Monica is footing the bill. He could get off. And if he does, he's going to make a beeline for ELQ. He won't have the support. In the Quartermain family, the name AJ is synonymous with screw up. Do not underestimate Monica. She has been waiting AJ's entire life to get him into that CEO chair. They'd have to convince a lot of people that AJ is capable of running this company. I just don't see that happening. If I'm going to prove that I'm an asset to the family and the company, I'm going to have to do it with my own shares. Really? Well, then why stop at 12? Mm -hmm. Why not 20? 50? Come on, you heard the terms of the will. I mean, I'm lucky to have even been included. Oh, false modesty is such a waste of time. We need to figure out how to get more stock behind you. I'm sure that AJ is already colluding with Sky. Never mind that neither Sky nor Lila Ray have one ounce of Quartermain blood. Together, they're worth 18%. You and I together make 24%. Now we had Lila Ray, we're up to 30. Your mother brings in another 5%. Mm -hmm. So if we find another 16. Then you've got yourself a takeover. Sky would side with AJ and Monica. But you would have Dylan and me and Brooklyn. That's only 30%. Maybe I could win Alice back or have Luke work her for me. Then I'd have 35. Michael has another 6%. We're at 41% and counting. I think Maya would side with me. We became, if not friends, friendly the last time Luke tried to trick me into marrying him. I don't even want to know. Okay, so with Maya's 6%, that will give you a total of 41%. It's still not enough for me to retain control. But I need over 50% to oust Tracy. And assuming that Ned, Brooklyn, Dylan, Maya, and Alice's shares will go to Tracy. Uh, Alice. Oh. You have to understand the dynamic. Alice is crazy about Luke. All Tracy has to do is use Luke as an intermediary and the shares are Tracy's, which only leaves Sam. She's got Jason's 12% and baby Daniel. That's another 6%. Why oh, are you going to forget about Sam or son? She hates me for what I did to Jason. Sam would never back me. I blackmailed her back in the day, and I also never made it a secret what I thought of her husband. Well, there's your challenge. If you really want to prove to the family that you want to help ELQ, find a way to get to Sam. If you're serious about retaining control of ELQ, find a way to get to Sam. If you mean what you say, that you've changed, that, that you have the company's best interest at heart, why shouldn't you run ELQ? I'm not going to do it. Ned and Dylan aren't going to do it, which means realistically, you have to 
step up. Oh, I would love to do that, but first I have to beat the charges that I'm facing, and that is a big if. And when that time comes, and it will, you will have my full support. I have no idea how I'm going to get Sam on my side, but I am not giving in without a fight. Well, you have some time to work on Sam. AJ's got his plate full with all these charges he's facing. Don't count on it. He's going to leave his defense to his lawyer and go after ELQ. Well, if it comes to that, you can count on me to rally the troops to your side. I'm glad you're here, Ned. I'm just sorry it took Grandfather's death to bring me back. Ned? Yeah? I was a terrible mother. Only sometimes. You can be difficult. And you can be amazing. And Dylan and I love you. It may not have seemed like it, but I really only wanted what was best for you and your brother. I know that. And I thought Daddy only wanted what was best for me. But no more. You know what? I think I understand why Grandfather gave you this. You think... You get it? I can save you some time. They never found Faison's remains, only boat wreckage. There's a record of all the vessels on the water that night. They searched them all. No sign of Faison. Yeah, I didn't think there would be. This is the way this guy works. I know face on. It's all about mind games. It's all about using Robin's death, Lavery's face. It all adds up. Unfortunately, Anna's... She's grieving too hard to see it. You're grieving too, Robert. You think because I couldn't save my daughter, maybe I'll save the mother? That all this danger is just in my mind. I think you're the best at what you do. And if you say Faison is posing as Duke, I believe you. Thanks, bro. Can always trust you. And uh, I appreciate the risk you took here. Keep it. I made a copy. Uh, just destroy it when you're done. Thank you. Did you uh, run into Anna at the station? Yeah, I uh, bumped into her with the file, but I covered. How'd she look? Like she's got a lot on her mind. Maybe you got through to her after all. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take a lot of proof. But I think I know who can help me get it. Thank you so much, Victoria, because um, if you hadn't done that, I'd have just had trail mix from the vending machine. <laughs> yeah, well, some things never change. You right. used to live on vending machine snacks, right? Yeah. Which is why you need your friends to save you from yourself. And the next time we just talk about you, all right? Not me. Well, I'm happy. Good. And that's all I want for you. And if Duke's the one, although, is he so different that maybe you just don't want him anymore? Well, I wouldn't say that. You know, maybe I just have to take things slowly. Still, there's something that's, you know. What? Speak of the devil. Oh, hi. I was just leaving. She's oh. all yours. Hello, goodbye. Goodbye. Uh -huh. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck with what? Oh, just all this paperwork, you know. Uh, got a lot well, of stuff to do. When you're overworked, you're even lovelier. No. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been smoking? Here you are. That's what you meant when you said you knew why Daddy wanted me to have the pickle, Lila? That's as good a reason as any. For you, maybe. Hmm. This is better than I remembered. Delicious. It is delicious. And you know what? Monica doesn't get any, no matter how much she begs. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. This guy's right. I am a quarter man, and I'm starting to understand just what that means. Grandfather, I promise I will be worthy of my inheritance. There well, you caught me. I did just have a cigarette. Uh, that's weird. I don't remember Duke ever smoked. I, I mean, I don't remember that you ever smoked. I didn't it ever smoke. I started smoking in Turkey. It was one of the few pleasures that we had as, as an inmate. 
It's very bad for me, I know that. Not good for my health. I'm trying to quit. You're not too disappointed, are you? No. No, I understand. But? It's just that this... What? Do you have any more surprises for me? I certainly hope so. Then you know what I mean. Things have changed, Anna. That's only normal. But the important things, they're still the same, and that is all that matters. Are you going to be able to help me on this? I see. So I guess I'm going to owe you big time. 